who's here. Oh, how are you? And then uh, after the whole switch happened, uh, I was still kind of weighing my decisions on what I wanted to do. And as I was just around campus and around the team, uh, I decided that this was the opportunity I wanted in terms of being a walk on to this team. And when Juwan Howard came and was presenting this opportunity, I was able to have great conversations with him and the new coaching staff. And the process just went really easily. Um, I was taking classes at the community college WCC uh, this summer and this past uh, fall to make sure that I was really able to get into the school uh, because the school means everything to me. I grew up here, so yeah. Interesting. Um, obviously, Saudi, uh, mm -hmm. you know, was, was a bridge, you know, kind of between the two right. coaching staffs. Did, did, did he help kind of facilitate those conversations? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, just kind of keeping in contact with Saudi really kept the connection to everybody here. Um, and just being from here, I've gained relationships with a lot of the guys on the teams, just even from being in high school. So uh, it's been a lot more than just contact with coaches and stuff. Like I've been able, able to be in contact with a lot of the guys on the team, and they've been very welcoming with me. Like even with the summer just being here and everything, they've just been great. So, is there a possibility of, of coming here straight out of? You know, high school instead of you know, obviously you went a different route. But was this? Um, you know? I I didn't have so. With my options, I decided that I wanted to go the scholarship opportunity. So that's where it led me with Duquesne. And Duquesne was obviously a great place. Like, I loved it. Like, it felt like home to me. And that's why I decided to go there. But after the year, uh, I just needed to reflect on myself. Because uh, obviously, the game is a lot more than just the game of basketball. So I was reflected, reflected on myself, what I wanted out of myself, and uh, what I did the past year. And just know what Michigan has and what they can give me as a man. <clears throat> And as a basketball player, it's just everything I wanted. Any idea how rough, how long roughly this process took? I guess. Um, so I would say it started probably after I transferred from Duquesne. So after that year end, and I just got in contact with coaches. That's it was kind of just a gradual process. So last spring is probably a rough estimate. Okay. How many schools did you have? I guess trying to recruit you. Or how many schools were you? Um, it was around. Three to five schools. Okay. Can you name any of the other ones? Uh, Toledo, um, Eastern. Um, it's really just a lot of Mac schools. Okay. Were there scholarship offers? Yes. What uh, has Juwan or any of the other coaches staff told you about what you know they expect for you, kind of your role? You know, within. The uh, team? I mean, it's more just me recognizing what my role already is, just coming in. Uh, obviously as a walk-on and coming in mid-year I just want to help the team as much as I possibly can I obviously know I can't play this year so any way I can come on the court and just push these guys to be the best they can be that's really all I can do in terms of being a great teammate and just being around these guys so uh, I'm obviously gonna work my butt off so that I can eventually reach the floor but I obviously know how long I have to go so it's just all part of the process and I'm here for it your minutes when you go back I recall going back and looking at your minutes from last year. Your minutes were kind of up, down, a little bit all yeah. over the place. You said you reflected over the year, you know, what in hindsight, you know, either worked or didn't work, and how do you kind of view that, that freshman year? So my freshman year, uh, Coach Dan Bryant at Duquesne is easily one of the best coaches I've had the opportunity of meeting. Like, him on and off the court, he really cares about you uh, as a person and just as a basketball player and wants the absolute best for you. Um, and it just got to a point where – I mean, obviously my, my minutes were fluctuated, but that didn't really play a part in my decision. I guess it was more just, I, I, I'm really big into mental health and how I feel about myself and reflecting on my past year at Duquesne, it was very up and down in terms of what I thought I wanted and what I just wanted for myself. So it led me here. Obviously you being a local kid, you know, what does it mean to you to come back here and be close to family and like that. I mean, this is this is a dream come true. Uh, when you get to grow up in Ann Arbor, like there's no other school like Michigan. Obviously, the academics, the sports, the people around here, like it means something to be a real Michigan man. And I really just saw myself coming out of high school as somebody that rep that could represent this university and somebody that could with uphold that name of what it really means to be a Michigan man. And just being here now, it's just like. Well, it's almost like I've kind of been looking like at a college brochure my whole life and just being around it. And 
I've just gotten to know the campus and everybody here. It's just family. Were you a big Michigan fan growing up then, I guess? Yeah, name? yeah. I mean, I live literally like two minutes, three minutes away, like right past Pioneer. So just, I've just been born and raised here, been around the campuses all my life. So, What kind of advice did your dad give you throughout this process? He was really open with what I wanted to do. And obviously he's helped me become the man I've become and just got me to the point I am right now. Um, but he also took a step back and was just like, I want you to make this decision with, with yourself. And as, as well as my mom, they've just really given me the opportunity to just think past just what basketball is and think past like what I can really get out of a college. So, so for those that haven't really you know, looked at your tape or seen you in camps and things like that, yeah, how would you kind of describe your game? Um, I believe that I play the right way. So I'm not gonna try and do too much, too little. Uh, I just feel like if I can find my teammates in the open spots, if I can make other people happy on the floor by giving them open shots, if I can get my own shot, I just wanna be an ultimate contributor on the team, especially as a point guard. So I just wanna be as much as a leader as I can. Where is, do you think you have to take a significant step forward to go from playing you know, A-10 level to, to Big Ten? Uh, definitely my body. And that's even just after the first day today, like, I can tell there's just a huge difference in terms of running, conditioning, weight room stuff. So it's like, I just have to get myself used to the schedules and uh, getting my body right and just getting my body as ready as it can be for Big Ten, so. Was today literally your first day then? Yeah, in terms of having on gear and stuff, yes. How was that? It was amazing, surreal. It was hard, but surreal. It's definitely a big change because I've been sitting out for a while and just not having like the whole like being at practices and just knowing what it feels like to be at a practice again. I haven't been like been a part of that since spring. So kind of just being in it again, it was really surreal. And I'm really just happy to be on the floor again. They got like a locker and a number set up for you yet or are you just working yeah, on a double Yeah, bag? I will be number four. <laughs> will be number four, have the locker set up. Uh, something I really didn't expect to see. So that was, it's always a blessing, so. And you've been here for games before? And yeah, to, okay. yeah. So I've been around at a lot of practices that I can't go to and a lot of games I can go to. So mm -hmm. as much as I could have been around the campus, I was. What was it like uh, all the, all those years, I assume you were working for, you know, not only college scholarship, but a Michigan scholarship offer. And, mm -hmm. you know, what was that process like? Um, I assume it might have always felt like it was just out of reach, I guess. Um, I mean... Once I was, when I was in high school, I, I, I was re really real with myself. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was getting a bunch of opportunities from great schools. Like, <laughs> I wasn't gonna knock that to try and be at somewhere that I know I would have to work a little extra for. And like, working extra is what I love to do. But at the same time, it's like, I have perfect opportunities in front of me where I can showcase and be who I wanna be at any coach who believes in me. So that's really what my mindset was going out of college. And I mean, it's the same way now. You mentioned you know some of the guys on the team. I guess how helpful is that for you, especially coming in? like the middle of the I mean, season? it's it's the best thing I could ask for, honestly, because uh, I'm a big family guy. I have a big family. Uh, so just being able to have that connection with my teammates and the coaches, it really translates to the floor. And like, in, while I'm talking about like mental health and stuff, knowing that I have my brothers and my brothers are gonna have my back no matter what, it's really relieving to me. And especially like being close to home, I know I'm gonna have a, another family right close to my real family at home, so. When you mentioned those schools, you said EMU and Toledo, was that your original recruitment or this time around as a transfer? This time around, it, it was really fluctuated with this time around, like, cause I guess I was very open about like the whole Michigan thing from the start with a lot of the coaches. So like in terms of scholarship offers, it was very like up, down, and around. It was really weird, so yeah. <laughs> Your brother's obviously gonna be the next guy up to get looked at by some schools. You know, what kind of advice can you give to him in terms of, you know, what you've experienced and obviously leading up to now? He's actually he's actually at uh, the College of Holy Cross right now. Oh, that's right. So yeah. I about that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's enjoying it there, I mean, uh, it's definitely a freshman learning process, yeah. but at the same time, uh, he's happy, so that's all I really care about. You said today was kind of surreal, you know, first day. 
What was it like waking up this morning? Did it feel a little bit different than uh, than normal? And I guess what were your oh, emotions like? It was definitely different because like I didn't really know the exact date I was able to start because my application just got accepted about a week, week and a half ago. So we, the date was really fluctuating on whether or not it was going to be in January, whether or not it was going to be when we come after break. So like just yesterday, I found out that like I would actually be able to be a part of practice and just being here today, it was just like, it's here now. Like everything I've been working for since the spring, like has led me to this exact point, and now I just get to ride with it. So you can't play in games this season, but right. can, can you from the from the start next year, or do you have to sit out? Uh, the, so that's what we're semester? still trying to figure out uh, in terms of waivers and stuff and compliance. Uh, as this year is no for sure, but uh, good possibility that it could be to start the next year. You anticipate any? I don't know, challenge and finding that motivation to, you know, work on your game when, when that carrot isn't dangling of actually getting on the court and playing mm -hmm. time, you know? I mean, I think that's just what pushes me more, just the fact that I'm not on the court. It's like I know what position I'm in now, and I, I know going into this what it's going to take to actually get onto the floor. I'm playing with some of the best guys in the country. I mean, and at the same time, I get to learn from – some of the best guys in the country as well. So I'm just going to take in everything I could possibly take in and just keep working on my game every day, keep getting stronger every day, and you know, just let God do his work. Do you know when you submitted the application, I guess, to come here? Um, I, I couldn't even give you a rough, rough estimate. It's okay. probably about a month, month and a half ago, too. Okay. I guess when you made the original transfer decision, what – what were the thoughts of this year? Were you trying to find something to actually get in and get enrolled for the first semester or anything? Like how close did you go to, or how close were you to going somewhere else basically? Um, I mean, I think I knew what I wanted to do uh, at the, probably at the middle, of, in, mid in the middle of the summer, uh, just being around here a lot, it kind of like eliminated my other options and it, it, I was really just narrowed in on focusing on the classes I was taking in the summer, in the fall, and just really focusing on getting into Michigan. Looking at this team now, guys that are on this roster, anybody that you like specifically note that you want to try to take things that, that they have or maybe things that you want to learn from them and kind of put them in your toolbox? I mean, X is the epitome of what a great point guard is. I mean, you see him on the court, he's head up, low to the ground, coming around the screens really well. He knows how to find his teammates. He knows how to make shots. I mean, being around that every day, and I've been able to have a great relationship with X ever since I was in high school. So I've just been able to look at him and even the way he acts off the court. It's just learning from those, a guy like that, he's an epitome of what it means to be a Michigan man. And once I can see him show up to work every day and really do, and do what makes him do what he does in the games, it's inspiring to me, so. So when did you enroll here in Michigan? How long ago? Um, so my application just got, got accepted mm -hmm. last week. Uh, my orientation is January 6th and 7th. Okay. So have you registered for classes yet? Uh, I do that on the 7th. You consider yourself more of a straight point guard or combo guard or what? How do you um, I, I'm more of a combo. Uh, especially since I'm starting to work on my shot a lot more. I feel like I want to expand my game a little bit and not just focus on one position. Uh, I really just want to be as much of an asset on the floor as I can possibly be, so. What's, it, <clears throat> what's your relationship like with Coach Howard so far? I mean, it's probably pretty new still, but. I mean, Coach Howard is a player's coach and he cares about the relationship he has with every single person that's in this facility, so. I've been able to have a great relationship with him, get to know him, uh, and he's just showed the love back that he showed to every single player on this team and every single person in this facility. So, I mean, he's exactly what people say he is. Like, he's, he loves basketball, he loves his players, he loves his family, and that's all you can ask for in a coach. Good. <laughs>